Many of our area schools hit the hardwood for some basketball action, including the number 11 team in Class 5A, the Sioux City East Black Raiders, and the Lamar's Bulldogs as they faced off in an all-local girls basketball matchup. State-ranked Sioux City East looking to continue their move up the ranks. They host an upset-minded Lamar squad. Third quarter, East led by 19 points. The Bulldogs came out ready. Sarah Brown drives in, gets to go for two points through the contact. Only a couple of minutes later, great feed from Zoe Whitcock to Metascove. Row team would cut the deficit to just four points. The Black Raiders would respond big way. Solid ball movement by East. It's Trichelle Miller connecting from beyond the arc. The freshman had a game high, 28 points. Bulldogs though with a three of their own as Brown gets it to go from the corner. This one going back and forth. But it will be Miller putting the exclamation mark on this one. She gets it to go plus the foul. East holds off Lamar's winning 61-56. In South Dakota, the undefeated Dakota Valley Panthers hosted Cedar Catholic. DV aiming to extend its win streak to 34 games while the Trojans aim for the upset. Row team, quick bucket of their own. Carson Aarons drops it off to Nolan Becker under the hoop. Shortly after, it's Jackson Bernecker going to work, finding Becker on the pick and pop, and it's good from the corner. Cedar Catholic goes up early, but it would not last long. Panthers begin to cook. They went right to their guy, Isaac Bruns. He would take care of business. Off the move, right into the jumper. It is good. He gets it to go. Just a couple of minutes later, Panthers on the move. It's the USD commit with the spin and the finish. Dakota Valley makes it 34 wins in a row, defeating Cedar Catholic 86-64.